Hello students how are you I hope you all are doing well So today this video is about your first chapter in mathematics that is numbers up to 100 So in this chapter we will learn about numbers okay So let us start with what is a number Number is simply a digit example 4 9 3 and so on So here first we have to know about digits that is what are digits Look at this picture there is a number given 752 So here 7 alone is called a digit 5 is also called as digit and so as two so simply we can say that the number 752 is made up of the digits 7 5 and 2 okay now look at the right side of this picture there are digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 these are the 10 digits we use in every numbers like if we take digit 5 digit 7 and digit 2 together it will form a number that is 572 similarly if we take other digits like 0 and 8 it will form another number that is 8 and 0 80 so now we can make a statement that digits make up a number and number is the collection of digits right now we will come to the question what are the types of a digit so students there are single digit numbers two digit numbers and so on numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 are called one digit numbers as they are single so they are called single digit numbers for example when we take number 1 we have only one means a single one Now there are two digit numbers. Two digit numbers means one digit at one's place and other digit at tens place. Here as we can see the three digit is at one's place and two is at tens place. Which means it is a two digit number that is 23. Whose three is at one's place. that is 3 ones and 2 is at tens place that is 2 tens which form a number 23 similarly there can be any other two digits to form a two digit number now children our next topic about numbers is very importantly place value of a number and face value of a number the place value of the digit changes according to the place it occupies and the face value of a digit remains the same at all the place so simply we can say that place value means the position of a digit and face value means the actual value of a digit or we can state it like this the place value of a digit in a number is the value of the digit due to its position in the number and the face value of a digit in a number is its actual value in the number the place value start from ones then tens hundreds and so on here we can see an example of digit 5 at ones place and digit 8 at tens place so the face value of 8 here is 
and place value of 8 is 80 as it is at tens place. Similarly, the face value of 5 here is 5 and the place value of 5 is also 5 because it is at ones place means 5 ones. Now, our next important topic in this chapter is ordering numbers. First students, we will come to know that what does ordering means. So, order simply means in a sequence, in a form. So, now we can order numbers in two forms. First is ascending order and the second is descending order. First, what is the definition of ascending order? Ascending order means arranging number in an increasing order. That means arrangement from the smallest to the greatest. And then descending order means arranging numbers in an decreasing order. Means arrangement from the greatest to the smallest. For example, here are some numbers given. The numbers are 8407, 9554, 8306 and 5071. So first, we will arrange them in ascending order. So what does ascending order mean? It means from the smallest number to the greatest. So first we have to put the smallest number. What is that? It is 5071. Then we will move to the higher number that is 8306. Then the higher number 8407 and then the highest number 9554. This is the ascending order. Then we have to convert them in descending order. So, descending order here means arrangement from the greatest to the smallest. So, what we have to do? We first have to put the greatest number here. That is 9554. Then the smaller one, 8407. Then the next smaller one, 8306. And the smallest, 5071. The next important topic is even and odd numbers. So, the numbers that can be put in pairs are called even numbers. And the numbers that cannot be put in pairs are called odd numbers. As we all know that pair means a set of two. Okay? Look at the picture here. One does not form a pair, so it is an odd number. Then number 2 is formed in a pair, so that is called an even number. Similarly, numbers 3, 5, 7 does not form in a pair. So they all are called odd numbers. And numbers 4, 6, 8 are forming in pairs. So, they are called even numbers. Now, the question arises how to find out whether a two-digit number is odd or even. So, for that we must observe carefully which digit is present in the ones place. If the number has odd digit at its one place, that is... 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9, then the number is said to be odd. And if the number has even digit at its ones place that are 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, then the number is said to be even. Okay, my dear students, these were some important topics regarding to a chapter numbers up to 100. So now we will recapitulate it all shortly once again. So first we learn what are numbers. Numbers are made up of digits. 
Then we learned about place value and face value of a digit. After that, we learned ordering numbers, that is, ascending order and descending order. And finally, our last topic was even and odd numbers. Hope you all have understood it well. Thank you, dear students.